Hey YouTubers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. Behind us is a Kohler toilet and it will not stop running. It's making that non-stop water running sounds. And it's costing us a little extra money because it's using a lot more water. So in this video, we are going to show you a simple seal that is going to solve your problems. Let's get started. All right, YouTubers inside the bathroom now. Step number one, we need to shut off the water. Quarter turn, valve, let's go ahead and flush it a couple times. Flushing it two times-ish will actually drain all the water from the actual container here. Next, let's go ahead and remove this cover. Be very careful. Do not drop it. It's very heavy. If it hits the floor, it's going to hit hard and shatter everywhere. With the cover off, we need to take this piece off. Carefully pull up. And on the very bottom of this is a seal. Make sure you do not drop that. And from here, we are going to carefully pull the canister up off that actual inner cylinder there. And there it is. There's the rubber gasket. As you can see, it's pinkish reddish. We are going to carefully remove that. At this point, I got the canister balancing on that actual center portion. And just take your finger or a little knife. But if you use any tools, do not scratch this actual canister because it requires the actual shape for this gasket to create that watertight seal. Go ahead and Take this off and what we'll do, we'll put that in a plastic bag and head to our local Ace Hardware and buy a brand new gasket. All right, YouTubers back from our local Ace Hardware and there is the new seal or gasket. We're going to open it and we're going to install it carefully the same way we removed it. Again, be very careful as you insert this. You don't want to actually rip it or stretch it. She's out of the box. And again, what we will do, I'll need both hands as I do this. With this canister, you actually have a little groove there. Can you see that little groove slot? That's where this gasket will actually feed into and seat. Again, I'll need both hands. All right, YouTubers, that was a lot easier and friendly than I thought it would be from here. All we're going to do is carefully turn it. Be very careful. We do not want to harm that actual chain. I'm going to insert this back on that actual center portion here rest it down in place and I want to position it in the same position that it was with the chain facing the actual lever here. From here you have two prongs that stick out one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. Do you see those? Those prongs will insert themselves into these little cutout slots here on this piece. And go ahead and secure this piece back down. Once that's secured, let's go ahead and turn the water back on down below and it will begin filling up. And if the gasket is your problem, replacing it with a brand new one should stop the actual water flow. And each tub takes about one to two minutes to fill up all the way to the top. And as the water fills up, it moves this little float valve up and once it hits its stopping point, it'll shut off the water. it stopped usually this float valve doesn't pop up like that it usually raises with the water level from here I'm just going to test it a couple times and I'll let that fill back up and from there I'll put the cover back on however one thing I want to point out is in the event that your center portion here is broken we have a step-by-step -step video on how to replace this part definitely check that out there will be a link down below in the comment section all right, that's good. I'll go grab the cover. And again, be very careful. You do not want to drop that cover. Cover's back on. And again, I'll just test it two more times. And again, if that seal was ultimately your cause of non-stop running water, hopefully that will fix it. So we hope this video helps YouTubers. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us. And that will be awesome. Thanks again for watching.